who opposeth and exalt himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worship, so that he as the Most High should have been the temple of the Most High, show him himself that he is the Most High. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalawam, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth of sincerity. And to the Aqua, which is the sisters, Shalawam unto you if you in this thing of true sincerity. And this is what Esau Edom is doing, man. You know, back in the day, you know, we used to talk about, you know, the Pope, things of that nature. You know, so the Lord is working. He he sent his Holy Spirit down upon men, increasing them, you know, so this scripture means so much more right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this scripture, like the way that you used to break down scriptures 10 years ago, you ain't breaking them down the same way. You know, certain scriptures is just, that's just plain cut what it is. But the scriptures is onion layers, man. The Lord, he's peeling back that onion for us. Because when you read the scripture now, what you should be thinking about. Now, the scripture said that we are the temple of the most high. All right, uh, First Corinthians three sixteen and seventeen. So he said that he set up in the temple of the Most High, show himself that he is the Most High, right? So this thing that he's trying to put inside us, I'm talking about the Karagma. You know, the Karagma, the MOTB Revelation thirteen and sixteen. He's he's put in. You know, the thing, he's trying to put the thing inside of us and to control us. That's why I say he sitteth. All right. He sitteth in the temple of the Most High, you know, because guess what? Somebody got to take the Karagma because it's written. Right now, with the thing, he depopulating with his technology. All right. And then. For the ones who live, because you got to understand, man, like it's so much, it's so much going on with this mRNA, man. I don't even really want to say it. Y'all got to catch up and y'all got to start researching yourself, man, because we in that time where our speech is being compromised. You can't really say certain things, but I'm going to try to say a little bit, but you know, the depopulation, you know, and it, I, I can't even speak on it. But anyways, but he sit up in he sit up in the temple of the most high with his technology, man. That's what he's trying to do. He thinking that he could control God's creation and add on to what the most high made. You know? That's what it's talking about when he said, I oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God. So like he he genetically modified everything, even within the serpent juice that he's patting you he's patenting you i hope i'm saying it right patent there we go so because he that's gene therapy that's gene editing all right replacing you know taking a nucleotide and adding on a synthetic nucleotide look it up all right and the thing is is that He's really trying to change your DNA. The same thing that he done with the foods. So this man is a madman. That's why the scripture said this. This dude got to go and he's going to go. <laughs> this dude is going to go. Yes, he is. See, I, uh, like the, the closer we get to the end, these scriptures starting to pop out with more understanding, especially this one right here. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them in the heart is deep. Do you understand that these scientists did a, a diligent search to try to find out how technology can work inside a human being? Fucking up the animals. All right. They, they, they tested on the animals first. All right. And then they see how it works with them. And then... You already know, just like how they do on, on the commercials with all their medicine. 
they literally got people that they tried out on and they paid them pretty good too. You know, most of them die. <laughs> but um, the thing, if, if, if they stay alive, then they just prolong for a season and then they got a whole bunch of health problems. But anyways, the point is, is that these scientists, man, Bill Gates and the crew, he spent all that money on these scientists buying tech companies and things like that just for they could have, you know, leeway to just be in a damn lab all day playing with shit, man. So it's like we in that time now, the Lord made Esau bear. The Lord is raising up his spirit even more upon brothers. And now things are just open, you know? So it's just like, I'm going to read it one more time. They search out iniquities. Like they, this is their life. It's in the power of their hands to do so. Micah 2 and 1. I'm going to get that next. Matter of fact, they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them in the heart is deep. All right. Like you got you got to be a mad man to be like, man, you know what? I want to put everybody on a database. Through a MOTB, the Karagma, I want to be able to alter their thoughts. I want to be able to know their thoughts. I want to be able to surveil them from the inside. out. I want to I want to be in the temple. Of the most high, man. This dude, man. But. And it says. Woe to them that devise iniquity. All right. They practice it. And work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it's in the power of their hand. See, they don't have to work. They don't have a nine to five. They nine to five is in the lab playing with technology and playing with animals and, you know, creating mischief. All right. So the elites pay these people, technical experts, you know, to play, play with this stuff, man. Because in, in, in man, you know, so going back to, um, we're not going back, speaking on the New York you know, the mandates that's going on there today, they just did it in California. So they always start off with the two biggest markets in the United States. You know what I'm saying? So you got uprising of the people in California and in New York. And you already know it's coming to everywhere else because that's where they start off. They practice there. They start things there. You know what I'm saying? Got to get the two big, got to get the two big dogs, you know, on board before they start off in like uh vermont or something but anyways um so you know uprising of the people people divided mark 3 and 24 said a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand so a lot of division going on we in the beginning of sorrows is going to get worse from here we actually in october uh in one minute it's going to be october 2nd and Guess what? 16 days from then, two weeks from now, everybody got to get the thing. So October 17th, well, 15 days from now, um, October 17th, that's when it's going to get real, man. So it's time to pray for that strength, pray for that faith, and to walk on the water. Peter had to walk on the water, man. We got to walk on the water. We got we to gotta step out on faith. But so I'm t I'm done talking about Esau now. Let's talk about the Lord. All right. In fact, let's talk about how this man, even though he, you know, being all wicked and stuff, he actually think that he the most high. This is what the scripture says. It says there is no wisdom nor understanding nor counsel against the Lord. Because this man is so stupid that he don't understand that the Lord is the one that's selling his instructions to do all these things. You know, um, I'm going to say one thing. Hopefully this video don't get straight. I'm going to say one more thing about the um, the serpent serum. You know, the, the serpent serum is the plague. All right. You got so many whistleblowers, doctors and nurses coming out saying that the actual thing is the plague. And the thing 
when you take it, it actually weakens your immune system and make the the virus more potent because it attacks your healthy cells. But, you know, uh, anyway, but you don't understand that, hey, the scriptures talks about, you know, famines and earthquakes and pestilence. All right. We in the beginning of sorrows. It's going to get worse from here on out. It's time to get built up in faith. But this script, the, this video is hopefully it's edifying just to show you that the Lord is in control, man. He's in control. When you think about, you know, um, as the scripture say in Romans 15 and 4, forever, for whatsoever is written for time is written for our learning, man. So we have forefathers. Oh, matter of fact, cause, cause we in the day of what um, you know, the three Hebrew boys was doing. All right. They try Nebuchadnezzar try to make them de bow down to an image, and guess what? What is the modern day image? This karagma. All right, you're gonna have to make a pledge to that to be in this society. So, are you gonna, you know, be faithful like the three Hebrew boys, uh, Shamrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego? Because that's what we're gonna have to do. All right. And so it said there is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord, man. So you got to understand that our power, all right, our power, he have the last say so. He created life and death, all right? He And, and the so-called white man is his sword. And that's why the scripture said this. This is only for the elect, which I hope to be. And it said, the Lord said, verily, it shall be well with thy remnant, the elect. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. So you got to understand that the Lord, if he wants you to be touched, you're going to be touched. If you don't want you touched, you ain't going to be touched. If you are meant to be delivered, you're going to be delivered, man. You just got to have faith. And if you lack faith, pray for it. You lack wisdom, pray for it. You lack understanding, pray for it. Like the flesh is going, it's here, man. Like, yeah. But the best thing to do is to pray and stop worrying about the what ifs. Because guess what? People are still comfortable, even us. But it's come we're coming into a time where it's not going to be as comfortable. The scriptures talks about. And second Edward 16 and 40 on down, talk about us being pilgrims on the earth and, and, and you know, um, forsaking everything, man. It's going it, to we're about to it, it's wilderness 2.0 is coming soon. All right. And you don't want to be like those two thirds that was in the wilderness complaining and murmuring against the Lord. But the scriptures did talk about purging out the rebels too. But anyways, to get back on topic, do you believe this? I get this scripture a lot, but it's a very profound scripture, man. It said, who governed the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. See, you have to emphasize when you read, man. On key words. It said all. And then it say things. It didn't say obey his will, man. All things. All right? So that means even Esau, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speak of, the old serpent, he obeyed his, man, he obeyed the will. For he is the king of all by his power, divide, dividing the holy things among them from profane. All right. That's why you got the wicked. You got the righteous. You even got the, the righteous of the Israelites and the two thirds and everybody is separated. All right. The Lord separating them because it's, it's certain people that are uh, slave for deliverance and certain people that slave for destruction. All right. And 
get these last two sets of scriptures. And it say, he seeketh out the deep and the heart and consider their crafty devices. All right. For the Lord knoweth all that may be known and he beholdeth the signs of the world. All right. The Lord is in the midst of everything and he's the one that's controlling. He's the one that's if if you wanted to be carnal about it, the Lord got you could look, you could imagine him. He got a damn remote control, man, pushing buttons like boop, boop, boop. Esau do this. Esau do that. <laughs> OK, but of course, you know, it's all spiritual. You know, you got sometimes you got to joke and make fun of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Because the scriptures talks about its lamentation, mourning and woes. All right. We coming into some heavy times, man. So you got to try to find some type of joy. I always talk about spiritual nuggets. You know, when you have your eyes on the prophecies, that should give you joy in your heart. You know, but hey, we still go through things in the midst of prophecies coming to pass. But the prophecy is supposed to outdo your calamities at the time. But anyways, it said he declared things that are past and for to come and reveal of the steps of hitting things. He had made Esau bear. That's why I'm able to talk as bold as I do. Especially when it comes to the serpent juice, because guess what? All day, every day, you got other Edomites, Psalm 64 and 8, he should make their tongues fall upon himself. Whistleblowing, man. You got federal nurses coming out. You got uh, people from Pfizer, Moderna coming out. You got people from the FDA coming out. These videos, man. So he, like the scripture said, he had made Esau bear. He can't hide himself, man. And and he revealed these things. He said, no thought escape of him. Neither any word is hidden from him. So when they go to the secret councils, even though we don't know what they're talking about, pretty sure we understand that they're talking about the destruction of us, but we don't know how. All right. So. Yeah, we may not know what they talk about literally in those secret councils, but the Lord do, and he's in control. And it say he garnished the excellent, excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting unto him may nothing be added. And guess what they're trying to do? They're trying to add technology to man. And the scripture said, can nothing be added? And that's another reason why they're having all these adverse reactions. You're trying to add something foreign to a human being. And that's why people just croaking. <laughs> so anyway, it says, may nothing be added. Neither can he be diminished. And he have no need of any counselor. Going back to the uh, Proverbs 21 and 30, the one that I read, said there is no wisdom. No understanding nor counsel against the Lord. But these people think that they can make the Lord's creation better. These people think that they can make uh, food better. All you eat is GMOs. All you take in is um, the foul water with all these heavy soft metals in it. And then now he's trying to genetically modify humans, man. This man got to go. That's why the scripture said that he is a forger of lies, physician of no value. All right. But, you know, the devil, he going to do what he got to do. We got to do. What we got to do. We got to continue to pray, you know, but hopefully this video was edifying and shalom and all praises to you. How about you?